is a fundraising effort to keep citizen science pro the citizen science project going on Google Plus. Uh, and since I can't talk and type without being muted, I'm just gonna get things working back again. So yay. Um, let's see. Okay, I'm putting up the donate link, cosmoquest.org slash donate. Uh, that is where you can contribute to keep the science and citizen science and uh, outreach and education and all that cool stuff going. Um, we haven't quite made the 13,000 mark. 12,735. I left you with a sinful set of instructions. You had one job. <laughs> All right. I keep, I'm gonna keep throwing in Game of Thrones references because I'm so excited about Beyond the Wall. <laughs> you had one job, Tarly. You had one job. <laughs> so we are coming through and getting comments on YouTube, and I once again have to get the comments back for the page. So main event page. Search Google Plus, and I'm going to send you the embed link somehow. All the blinkies. All the blinkies. I don't know which one. Pamela. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I've sent you the embed code. Uh, so back on CosmoQuest.org, we will be putting this one. Uh, share the link to your buddies. I'm going to tweet it. Part 7. Part 7. Hang out a thon. Oh, that's the wrong one. <laughs> you all don't need the embed code. Dooby 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 doo. Did you share it to me somewhere? Yes, I just hang out, chatted you. Oh. Um. Oh, maybe I'll get it on the first try. No. Come on. That's, that's, come on. There. All right. This is getting slightly easier. One more jump required. We have seven hours and 55 minutes left. Um, so we are on the main event page on Google+. Plus. We are on YouTube. You can comment in either of those places, and we will see those comments. Uh, go to CosmoQuest.org. At the top, there's a blue bar with the schedule and the donate link and all the good stuff. And here is the link to donate right below. Um, you had one job. <laughs> you had one job. Um, what do we have coming up next? Uh, we should have Pat Durrell coming in to talk to us about uh, imaging for um, science on the half sphere. Um, so he should be joining us in eight more minutes. Well, yeah, so they're working to get him in the green room right now. Uh, so <laughs> James Haney shared it with Upward Onward Alonzi, the Hangout-a-thon soldiers on. All the Doctor Who references are making me so happy. Not that kind of a doctor. Yeah, that's okay. I have I have a sonic screwdriver. It's close enough. Um, mm, 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 we have all the blinkies happening. Uh, goodness gracious. Um, so we have him coming on in eight minutes then. Uh, yeah. We have an image of Von Braun all the way down being worked on. You missed. You missed a new cosmology being created. <laughs> Turtle! You can't leave me alone <laughs> with the internet for any length of time. Uh, so Will Selwood wants to know, where did that giant mug Pamela is using come from? Or is that just the coffee pot that you're drinking out of? This? Yeah. <laughs> it's, this is actually one of my smallest coffee cups. <laughs> this is a 14-ounce coffee cup from Starbucks. Um, it's, it's, I love it because it has a lid that basically turns it into an adult zippy cup. And um, I, I'm enough of a klutz enough of a klutz that that has been amazingly useful. Okay. Let me retweet. Retweet all the things. Um, oh, so we have uh, Phil Plate still watching. Hi, Phil. Sorry my mic was low. Thank you for letting me know. Uh, I kind of pushed it up a little bit more. Um, Whoa, barking dogs. 
Oh, there was an alarm. <laughs> like, why did your dogs come out of the futon all of a sudden? Oh, my goodness. So while we're uh, waiting for the next guest to come on in, we uh, will do station ident. This is CosmoQuest.org Hangoutathon. We are supporting citizen science um, using uh, the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, the Mercury, uh, sorry, the Messenger spacecraft to Mercury, the Dawn spacecraft to Vesta and on its way to Ceres. And for a while, we were, had some data for the New Horizons probe. We were looking for a, uh, an object for it to visit. So we are supporting citizen science through all those NASA missions. We're looking to start up a new citizen science project, two new citizen science projects, uh, if we get the funding. Um, one is a, a radio project uh, looking for uh, using the low frequency radio telescopes to look for transients and having you actually help out in doing that project. And then another one looking for galaxy clusters. I think searching uh, by eye for galaxy clusters and images uh, and using optical ground based telescopes. And and it's looking at the morphology of the galaxy clusters. So these are ones that have been selected by computer software. And our very own Thad, Z Thad Zabo is the scientist behind that. So uh, we are doing um, lots of educational initiatives. We have, um, I'm actually, oh gosh, I have 12 hours between the end of this and the start of the teacher professional yeah. development to the local middle school, one of the local middle schools with uh, two of our educators on staff who've been developing uh, curricula for the Moon Mappers project and will soon turn their attention to the asteroid project as well. Uh, we've tentatively entitled it Investigate uh, to talk about asteroids. Um, middle school lesson plans that will help teachers uh, meet the science standards while doing awesome, amazing uh, space science with their students. Um, and, oh my gosh, all the outreach initiatives, all the informal outreach we do, all the, uh, the hangouts and media. Um, I may never want to see a hangout again after this, but I will soldier on somehow. <laughs> In fact, Wednesday night on Learning Space, we'll be giving you an update from the CosmoQuest uh, professional development, and I'll have some pictures and videos of the fun activities that we're doing. I think Monday, the only thing I'm responsible for is a balloon rocket project, so I can handle that while I'm a little sleep deprived. <laughs> I can build, build rockets. Uh, Nancy Graz pointed out we're up to 12,935. Come on, Tarly! You had one job. Let's go. We can make it to 13,000 in the next few minutes. Um, if you can't donate, if you've already donated, please share the links out, share the video out. Uh, send it all to your friends. Um, we want to get all the viewers back that we had in the last segment. Uh, so I've tweeted it from CosmoQuest X and uh, sent it out, uh, embedded it on the page and sent it out on Google. Um, we have a question. If will the donate link be available after the Hangout-a-thon? I would normally yes. donate, but only this week started working again after three months. That is so cool that you would like to yes. help us out with your very first paycheck after a while. Um, so yes, that'll, that'll still be up for, for quite some time. And uh, remember from early, early on, um, Amy, uh, Amy Davis Roth of Surly Ramex uh, is going to continue to donate to CosmoQuest when you put CosmoQuest in the uh, seller notes on Etsy for her ceramic jewelry, and that's at Surly Ramex. Uh, if you go to astrogear.org in, in the store that helps support the Astrosphere media projects that go along with what we do, um, the Atlanta Star Party near Dragon Con uh, will be helping us out as well. And then we'll be doing a Kickstarter with the Dark Overlord, uh, Scott Sigler, who was on earlier as well. And so that is uh, something we've got uh, going on to help support the projects as well. Um, we're, we're just in awe of how many of you have reached out to find ways to help us each in your own way. This really is the community coming together to, making, to make sure that the community continues to exist. We deeply appreciate this. So Patrick just left a message. We are here but not in green room yet. You have been sent and emailed and Google Plus invited to the green room. Uh, so that link should be there for you guys to go get ready. Uh, Timothy is waiting for that. Um, so if you can follow that link, he will send you along to us. I will make sure Tim gets the new link. Copy, copy, copy. Oh, yeah. Okay, that was odd. All right, so I'm sending the link to Tim. Tim has been... Oh, that's... 
Something over there oh, doing it. That was me. Okay. <laughs> Weird. Uh, you know, I noticed, and I, and I, I forgot to mention when uh, Darling Cavalier was on, her walls are the same exact color as yours. It looked like there was one continuous room in the that. hangout. <laughs> and she was in an attic as well, so she well, had the she, same oh. funky shapes in the background. It looked like she was in the attic with us, but she yeah. was not. She was in her own attic, uh, I think a con half a continent away. So, yeah. Uh, yay. Um, so we're waiting on Patrick Durrell. What are you guys talking about for the next segment? Um, we're going to be talking about uh, taking images uh, using fisheye lenses that can be used in planetarium. We have a uh, Creative Commons uh, photo collection that we're just starting to build, and um, it's uh, one part excuse to travel all over the world, uh, one part excuse to have totally awesome lens for our cameras, um, and five parts, let's do something good. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I can't lie, uh, we both probably love having these lenses, and I apologize for the accidental image $13, of... $13,035. Finally! Good job! Good job! <laughs> So you did technically do it before the next segment. You did it in the in-between time, so we'll, we'll give you that. You didn't do it before I got back. The ravens have been sent. It's fine. <laughs> the ravens have been sent. <laughs> uh, someone's Oh, bongo drums. That was the, the computer freaking out. Uh, oh. You have a drum somewhere. I could sit here and play like it's, the two I, melodies I, I know. I think it's on the first floor. Yeah, I don't want to go back down. Well, I can go back down. I want to come back up if I do that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, we live in an old rambling farmhouse that when we bought it, like, didn't have a boiler, didn't have gas, didn't have a leak that worked. Um, <laughs> didn't have a leak that worked. Didn't have a roof that oh, worked. roof that worked. Okay. <laughs> didn't have a roof that worked. <laughs> the roof leaked. I combined those concepts. That's awesome. It leaked water and sparrows. It, it still leaks sparrows. It does still leak. Um... Uh, I've been notified, so the comments are starting to go real fast. Everyone's waking up. I'm getting some echo. Yeah, that's because that's I'll, me. I'll, I'll mute myself once we're uh, set up and ready. Oh, but that's I need to find this picture. Apparently, Ryan. So uh, during Amy's segment, um, we made a joke about how it's it's Verna von Braun's all the way down, and so Ryan Consell of Mad Art Lab <laughs> has provided. So I need to screen share this baby here. Oh, Amy's going to uh, be so Student happy. Student of Whim on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> this is the new cosmology, everybody. Verna Run runs all the way down. <laughs> That's how we will get to space on the shoulders of an infinite number of Verna Von Bruns. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Ryan, Ryan also uh, donated uh, some armor, which A, then... Uh, bought and is donating the money to Cosmo Quest. So thank you, Ryan. Uh, thank you, all the people at MedArt Lab. Uh, not this Wednesday, but the next Wednesday on Learning Space, we will have a whole bunch of the Mad Art Lab crew uh, talking about the intersection of, of, uh, of art and, and science. Um, and it'll be a whole fun creative group. You will do not want to miss this one. So that's next Wednesday, the 26th on Learning Space. Uh, I think we're still waiting on Minda. We've sent you emails. We sent the notification. Check your notifications. I know you're watching. You're in the comments. Check your email. Um, there's a direct link in your email to this Hangout so you can come join the show. And uh, God damn it, Ryan. You're awesome. <laughs> That is amazing. That's awesome. <laughs> I was trying to think about how I would have tackled that challenge, but he yeah. did a great job. Um, have you told people to donate? Donate! Donate! CosmoQuest.org slash donate, and uh, people will keep making amazing things for us. So, uh, yeah, uh, we have... Uh, you can donate directly there, uh, via the PayPal link, or you can... Um, you can go to, uh, you can buy something from Surly Ramix, uh, Surly Amy Shop, uh, and, and put Cosmo Quest in the Etsy seller notes, uh, and she will donate to us as well. Uh, there'll be all kinds of funding streams kicking in. If you're watching this at any time, even when it's not live, that link will still be there, cosmoquest.org slash donate. Uh, let's get to 15000 um, so we can pay Joe and feed Joe, the grad student. Oh, you're not coming through the mic, Pamela. 
I, I, I was just trying to say, uh, you know, getting past 15,000, I'm all for that as well. That, that is less paperwork I have to do. Now I figured out what's going on. You're in the sort of same room, and so your mics are. I got it. I understand why this, why we're hearing this echo. This is an echo that I couldn't chase down. I see now. Okay. <laughs> I hate echo. Um. Oh, now everybody's muted. Uh, okay. So Scott Pike, Scott, Scott B Pike one asks Fraser. I just want to ask, do you? think that more should be done in the way of sidewalk astronomy, as I don't really hear a lot of people doing it. Uh, absolutely. Sidewalk astronomy, I think, is one of the best methods of astronomy outreach that has ever been invented. And, uh, you know, to set out a telescope in some public area and go, hey, do you want to look at Saturn? Hey, do you want to look at the moon, Jupiter? It's, it's amazing the impact that has on people, many of which, you know, the vast majority have never looked through a telescope. And any time anyone ever sets up a telescope in some public place, there is a lineup. 50 people, 100 people waiting in line to look at that telescope. So if you've got a telescope and you want to share your love of astronomy with the public, by all means, get out there any night, set it up, and just, you know, just bask in the enjoyment of other people, you know, seeing Saturn with their own eyes. It's fantastic. Yeah, of course, and, we can do more. And Minda, if, if you're out there and you can hear me, the email with the link did not come from me like the past emails did. I think it came from noisyastronomer at Gmail. Did I get that right, Nicole? Yes. Oh, we may have sent the email to the wrong address. We're we're verifying your address right now. Once. Um, Maybe a dot org. Hold on. Let me see if I have any more questions here. Any other questions? Uh, oh right, and you guys were talking I, in the last segment. Yeah, I was watching. Com. You guys were talking about uh, about cameras and lenses. Yeah, so I've got a 1.4 50 millimeter Canon lens, and then I just bought a brand new uh, Rokinon 14 millimeter lens, fisheye lens. And uh, and what's great about the Rokinon? Oh, I should grab it. But anyway, um, is it's it's a manual aperture and it's a manual focus, which is a very difficult camera to like difficult lens to run and I gun with. Use that one. Right, but you. But the point is, for like deep field astrophotography, you just you know carefully set the the apertures, carefully set the exposure, and then uh, you get this. Be it's gigantic glass. It's so much glass, and it's super cheap. So, for example, I bought the eighty-five millimeter version of this as well, which re we've been using for these videos that I've been doing. It was two hundred and fifty dollars, and it's equ equivalent of the L series glass from Canon. So, so I highly recommend these. Hey. We have Minda with us. You may be automatically muted. If you look at the top, there may be an orange microphone. If it's orange, click it to make it not orange, and then we can hear you. Can you hear me now? Yes, we can. Great. Cool. Thanks so much for having me on. Oh, it, it's really our pleasure. Um, so what we're going to do now is a standard recording of Astronomy Cast that's non-standard because we only usually have guests when we go to Dragon Con, but this is just as special as Dragon Con in its own way. Um, so Fraser's going to do an introduction, we're going to do a little bit of a chat, and then we're going to go into the main show, um, introduce you as a climate scientist from the National Center for Science Education. Um, and then we're going to go into the topic of climate change. Sure, well, that was... sounds great. One, one correction though, I'm actually a biologist, not a climate scientist. Okay, yep. okay. So can I get that again, the biologist from... National Center for Science Education. And it's Minda, is it Berbeco? That's right, yep. That's the first time I've pronounced somebody's name correctly. Congratulations. Actually, that's a hard one too. So, <laughs> um, so I'm actually going to write my. In Normally, I write the introduction beforehand, but I'm actually going to write it after the fact because I don't know what we're going to be talking about in great detail. And okay. so, I know we're going to be talking about climate change and and so on. But I'm actually going to, after we do the introduction, after we do the show, I'm going to write the introduction and then record it. The other thing um, is also um, with the recording side, we're going to have your audio and my audio panel, but not Mindus. For for putting laying this down, so I'm just wondering if uh, you could. Yeah, I guess you could extract the audio out of the uh, out of the YouTube video after the fact and right. And so that just means that we probably don't need to record our garage bands. It'll sound a little better if we record our our sides of the conversation and then Preston can mix in the the third audio. 
Except the third Audi is going to have both of us in it already, which is impossible to take apart. Well, unless he, yeah, unless he trims it, but yeah. Yeah, if it's astronomy cast, there's no images. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I can use sound flower to capture the audio, but then I'm capturing both of you at once. Why don't you just, yeah, why don't we sort of siphon it out of the uh, the YouTube video after the fact. Okay. And then we'll okay. Post it to the so let's just proceed as normal. It, yeah, exactly. Um, and then I'll record an, in, an intro after the fact, and we can sort of bolt that onto the front and apologize for the audio quality and and, uh, and go from there. Just like Dragon God. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Or like the woman we on the uh, on the boat. Um, okay, cool. Uh, and uh, I think I figure we should do the same thing. Sorry, everybody, for <laughs> seeing the, all the administration. And then I was thinking for the for the second part where um, where we have the second conversation, that should be an episode of Astronomy Cast too. So. I have decided. I have no clue what you're talking about. At 11, <laughs> at 11. Oh! <laughs> we've completely got another, different topic. We have a, we have a, exactly, we have a completely different topic, but we'll do the same thing. Okay, that's it. Uh, you know what? You haven't slept in 24 hours. You, how, how could you pos possibly keep up with my freshly slept brain? So, all right. Okay. Ready? Yes. Okay, and Minda, you're great. Okay, <laughs> awesome. So I will have introduce the show. I will have sort of provided an explainer on what this show is about. And the show is about climate change, right? Yes. 